it was a relationship built in a period when western democracies used to arm a military dictatorship called pakistan and deny india defensive weapons so if we are talking about principles let's talk a little bit of history out here Are you reluctant to criticize Moscow? we are an independent country uh, we do not uh, uh, define ourselves or perceive ourselves in alliance terms that's very much a western terminology it's not something it's not a term that we use we have a relationship with moscow we've had a long term relationship with moscow i think it's important to look at that history of the relationship it was a relationship built in a period when western democracies used to arm a military dictatorship called pakistan and deny india defensive weapons so if we are talking about principles let's talk a little bit of history out here so how did the indian uh, exposure to russia get and previously to soviet union get built up because the western uh, democracies for whatever reason decided that their natural partner in our part of the world was a military dictatorship would you consider india an ally of russia no oh, i think india doesn't we are an independent country Uh, we do not uh, uh, define ourselves or perceive ourselves in alliance terms that's very much a western terminology it's not something it's not a term that we use europe has managed uh to uh to reduce its imports while doing it in a manner in which it is comfortable for europe so comfortable if that uh, comfortable may, it's may, may be a, no, it's may be a little bit of an it's management now if at 60000 euros or whatever is your per capita income you are so caring about your population i have a population at 2000 dollars i also need energy i don't have i'm not in a position to pay high prices the price of oil has doubled and what europe is doing is also moving into the middle east and diverting production out of the middle east into europe and raising prices so european actions actually are putting pressure on the global oil markets and on my uh, imports as well so uh, i think it's something which if european political leadership understandably would like to soften the impact on their population i think it's a privilege they should extend to other political leaderships as well